Uh, this is a two and a half inch casing or two and five eighths, it's hard to say. You ordered it, if you want to do a close up of it, wherever this is, Stella, you ordered. Where is it for the entry door? Why is that not installed? So make sure that that casing gets installed. Uh, I don't know if they're short or not, but I don't, they haven't installed it, whoever was here. There's just one, one piece here, so you, you need at least another 17 foot piece if this is right. Otherwise, you need two 17 foot pieces. Then where's the hardware for this? Why is this not installed? So double check with her. You need your finished electrical done right away. And then you need to install your appliances and there's no holes drilled for the sink. So you need to kind of get that assembly and get one to come here with the homeowner, mark it, and make sure whoever did this job installs on that. And as soon as the electrical is done and the holes are done, you need to install all your appliances as soon as your electrical is done, okay? And then the electrician can also do all those light things that are missing in here, put all the switches on. Um, so that's not a prerequisite to anything else. What kind of handles is she getting? So she's going to need handles for here, handles for the entry door, so make sure that's all done. Then when you come down here, and Juan can probably take care of this, but up, uh, you need some kind of a transitional piece for the floor. You need the piece for the top. This needs to be a square molding. From the drywall to the beginning of the edge band is like a hair under four inches. It's like three and seven eighths. So you need some sub crown here, no crown, and it needs to be furred out to be flush with this thing. And if you look in here, it's almost four inches in here. And this piece is about uh, 70, 71 and three quarters. So that's what you need. You need a piece here if you don't have it in the white color. Uh, there's handles missing in here, so I'm not sure what that is. Um, the toilet could be installed here. Um, the tile in here is not installed. I don't know why if you come in here and look at this. So find out who the tile guy was, finish this electrical, finish the grill, put the pocket, uh, put the um, medicine. Put, put medicine cabinet in, and then finish this tile work. Whoever it was needs to finish this, right? And then I don't know if this gets a curtain or shower door. Also the hole for the uh, for this needs to be in. Is it a zero or eight inch spread? That needs to be done. You guys need to use one for all that. Where's her light fixture? Where's the outlet? That could also be installed if it's here. They can do all that. So just talk to Michelle and make sure that's all here. She just referred us. I don't know why. The outlet cover in here. The outlet covers in here. Then you go into these rooms. The doors are here, right? Um, but there's going to be a barn door hardware. So this is a 30 and a half inch opening by a um, by an 84 um, by by an 85 and three quarters. So you need at least an eight foot high door in here. And they need hardware for drywall. The drywall opening is 30 and a half. So I'm assuming the door we ordered for this would be a, either a 34 or 36. So find out what door was ordered, and then the hardware would have to go to the right. Okay. Then this is for this bedroom. Then you go around here. Closet doors. I'm not sure if the track is here or not, but this would be a, a double door track. It is 61 inches drywall to drywall. So you need either to fur this out on each side and get a five foot track, depending on what size doors was ordered, or you can go with a six foot track and it would be a double door track. And I'm not sure where the doors should be somewhere around here. Okay. Um, there is some moldings and stuff on the floor, but this again needs to be done. Then we get into the master bedroom again. Um, you need to put the holes for the faucets. You need to find out what this is. This is going to be a three door track. It is 99 and a half inches. So I'm not sure if they even make it 99 and a half inches. If they don't, um, so I, I'm assuming it's a 99 and a half inch triple door track. So all the three doors, whatever I was ordered in here, this door with a, with a three door track needs to be put on here. I'm assuming, I'm not sure what color she wants it, so you need to find out what color she wants it. Um, because uh, it needs to kind of match the handles that she's gonna buy. So double check that before you order this track. And uh, right now this is 85 and um, 3 8 or so from cement. And then uh, Mark would have to do pad outs and stuff like that before carpet. So then that way carpet can go in in each way. And then when you come into the master bedroom, uh, the toilet needs to be installed. 
Again, the whole is to be sold. There's another track here inside the master bathroom. It is 69 and a quarter of an inch long. And from finished floor to here is 84 and a half. And you should have two doors here. This should be a double door track to so double check it. The handles in here needs to be put on. The, uh, all of these fans, where is the grills for them? So you wanna make sure that's all done. And then all the tile work, does this get a slab on here or not? And then if this is it, that needs to be put on. The niche needs to be finished off. Um, drywall here needs to be, you know, either mudded, you know, so that needs to be mudded, this needs to be mudded, or I'm, I'm sure it can't just be caulked, so that needs to be dealt with. These, if she gets what she wants here, needs to be put on. The mirror needs to be installed um, on both bathrooms. Again, the holes need to be drilled, the faucets are here. So what I would do is I would schedule an array of people with Juan managing them and then gathering all the parts. So you would need to have the countertop guy to drill the holes. Juan would have to like talk to Michelle, meet her here, put all the faucets in the right places, get Alex P to do the electrical here at the same time. Get, uh, get your tracks on order based on what it is, confirm the color with her on that. Um, get all of the door um, hardware, so that way we can install all the door hardware for her. And then after all that, you can carpet when everything is done. Um, again, there's, there's some doors in here. So there's some loose doors, find out what they are. This one looks like it needs to be clamped and glued, so we may need to bring this back and glue it. It looks like it's kind of falling apart. So this needs to be clamped and glued. Um, so maybe somebody can pick up here and take an inventory of what's in here. So Juan can probably do that. And then um, please let her know that you're working on this. And then you can measure for the carpet um, to go all along here. And then before you do the carpet, you also need to put in all the toe, toe skins. If there is any toe skins, it looks like it's done. And then one of the drawer fronts in here looks like the color doesn't match. And one of these doors here, I'm not sure which room. Yeah, one of these closets, the bottom drawer looks like the color doesn't match. I don't know if they flipped it or not. I'm not sure if she said anything or not, but it uh, looks like the color doesn't match. If she said anything, this is the one in the master bedroom. Looks like it's just color doesn't match. And then somebody needs to clean everything. So if Juan brings a helper with him, they can clean everything, they can take an inventory, but before he comes, he needs um, the granite guys to be here to drill the holes. Before you do that, you need to find out if it's an eight inch spread or a single hole and what they're putting into the kitchen. So everything can be marked and put into the right locations. When all that is done, then you can pretty much be finished. So please take care of her, along with the mirrors here, the medicine cabinets, the covers in here. Um, the piece that goes above here. So all that needs to be dealt with. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.